Hey guys, thanks for tuning into my channel. Today I have an exciting, exciting video for you guys. You know when I can bring you guys something new that you don't really see much of on YouTube, I get excited. <laughs> um, it's not actually a new product, but there's not many videos of these pencils being reviewed on YouTube. So when I can bring you guys something that there's not a whole lot of information on, I get excited. So here we go. I found like maybe one review of these pencils, um, one or two, maybe two, but one, you know, pretty good review. And uh, that was done by, I think, the Coloring Queen. But these are the Gong Hui MU Hero by MU Hero watercolor pencils. Now, actually, the ones that the other color tuber reviewed were not the MU Hero. These are actually by the MU Hero. But they were the Guang Hui brand. These are the watercolor pencils, 150 set. And hers didn't come with the, the cover like this. It just came with the plastic casing and the name Guang Hui on it. So I don't know how different these are. These pencils also come in different brands, different sub brands like Wan Shui, Guang Hui by Wan Shui and Guang Hui by this or that or the other. But I have done some research and I honestly believe that when you get these Guang Hui pencils, it really varies in the quality if it's by Wan Shui or MU Hero or whoever the sub company is that makes these pencils. I honestly don't believe that they are the exact same pencils. I honestly believe from my research that these companies do have the same manufacturer, but they can choose different colors and they can choose different pigment amounts. They can choose how much pigment they want in their pencils and how much... Um, oil or wax but they can choose the formulation the pencils aren't all formulated the same because I've had some people when I got my uh, MU Hero Guang Hui pencils oil pencils the 160 set there were quite a few people who got the Wan Shui brand of the Guang Hui it sounds like I'm talking about some Chinese food now but <laughs> there were different ones who were like I don't like those pencils they don't color smooth and then some people got the same exact set of the Hero, MU Hero, and they were like, wait a minute, these pencils feel different. And some people say they feel the same. So it's kind of a debate. And of course, they're kind of budget pencils, so the consistency is definitely not going to be like the consistency of your Prismacolors or your Fiber Costell or your Caran d'Ache. They're going to be consistent all the way through, but a budget pencil kind of have a few inconsistencies from pencil to pencil and from set to set. So enough of that, let's jump right on into this review. This uh, set here comes, as I said, in, covered in plastic. I've taken the plastic off. It comes in this beautiful little cardboard something or another here. <laughs> on the back, it has your MU Hero, the model number, and it has uh, in these little dot points brake resistant lead, effortless glide, great for adult coloring, smooth cover coverage, vibrant colors. So it tells you a little bit about the story of the person who started this company or the person that's a, an artist, not the person that started this company because that was from 2016 and they say they've been in business since 1980. So let's slide them on out. They come in the typical cheapy cheapy case with the handle on it that you will definitely need to take your pencils out and don't use this as storage if you care anything about your pencils because this is not very sturdy. 
especially the plastic trays. The plastic trays are very, very uh, flimsy. So you will definitely want to take these out. Now, the pencils, they have five trays. Five trays of different colors. And I have already rearranged the color order. The color order that it came in wasn't horrible, but it just wasn't the color order that I would be used to my pencils being in. So I changed the color order around, but they do come in a decent color order. You can choose to leave them in that color order, but I just put them in an order that would be easier for me. So I will be placing these in this case here as I swatch them out. So in this video, I probably will be putting a few timestamps because this is going to be an extensive video, pretty thorough. I will be swatching them out with you guys because this is going to be like my first impressions of these pencils. I waited until I got with you guys before I even tried them out because I really wanted for you to see my first impression of them. So before I really get into swatching them out, we're gonna just do a few little tests for those of you who maybe want like a quick little first impression review and don't wanna watch all of the swatching and so forth. I'm gonna use my old swatch book that I usually use for all of my swatching and just kind of test out a few pencils on this type of paper because this paper is actually like common paper of your Amazon paper, your create space paper, your kind of um, budget friendly coloring books. But in the swatch book that I plan on actually putting them in permanently is this uh, swatch book here that I plan on putting all of my water-based media in. And this paper is almost like watercolor paper. It's very thick cotton paper. It's pretty heavy, so we will be testing it out in there. And I also will be testing it out, testing these pencils out in a coloring book. Most coloring books, the nice coloring books, have the paper quality of like a Johanna Basford book so we will be testing those out in that book and I also will be kind of testing them out on a piece of cardstock because that's what I do most of my coloring in. Those three types of paper would make the most sense testing things out, testing these pencils out in. So first and foremost let's talk about the pencil. The look of the pencil is totally, totally different from our original Hero pencils. And I will just grab one of the original oil-based Hero pencils. And just show you guys a few of the differences. Before I show you the differences, let's just talk about the pencil. It has a capped in. The pencil barrel is capped and the entire pencil has the color. It has since 1980 and it also has the words Guang Hui on it, watercolor pencil, and it has a little pencil at the end with a little G and an H and all that mixed together. Then you turn it over and it has a little paintbrush. The color name, that's what I'm most excited about and the color number and it has two little gold rings around it and it kind of looks like a Faber Castell pencil so it's very very attractive beautiful pencil the numbers do not match the numbers on their old pencils so well not old pencils but they're regular oil based pencils and then the oil based pencils have a silver name and the number and that's all they have on their pencils and their ends on the oil based pencil are they aren't capped so they're exposed and these are actually 
a little bit heavier, it feels. These are a lot lighter. They're oil-based pencils. So that's something to think about. They actually have names on them, and I'm so excited about that. So name and number. That's what you have. All right, so my first time swatching these out. So I'm going to do a tiny little swatch, first impressions, and then we're going to get into an extensive test in these pencils. So I think what I will do is kind of not just be all willy-nilly in just swatching things everywhere. I think I will at least... Hero Watercolor 150. I think I will, will at least try to keep up with swatching these on this paper. So 9012. I won't swatch all of them right now. So we're going to do dry. I think I want to zoom you guys in so you can really see what's going on. Okay, so there's a dry. They feel just like the oil based ones, coloring with them dry. And I'm going to wet this one. Do a hard pressure and then do a lighter pressure. And then I want to see if it will totally dissolve with light pressure and dark pressure. So I'll use my water brush I'm not going to wet, activate this one. I just want to see how that it looks dry. I want to keep it dry. But I will activate this one and see if the color brightens up. Okay, now let's do this circle to see if it actually takes all of the lines out. didn't quite dissolve all of the lines. I'm sure if I scrubbed it more, it would have. Let's see about the lighter pressure one. Okay, lighter pressure did a little bit better in completely dissolving. I don't know. Hmm. Let's test like another set of watercolor pencils to see if they dissolve completely. I'm going to get my, where are my Albert Dürer? Let's see. I'm going to get a more expensive set. Here we go. And see if they dissolve completely. Let's see. This is the... Well, no. I'll get the Albert Durr like I said I was going to do. Now let's do hard pressure and light pressure. Just doing a little comparison. And let's do the same thing. Oh, wow. Definitely dissolves better. Okay. What a comparison. Hmm. Let's try it again. 
I'm doing hard pressure and a light pressure. And let's see the lines don't dissolve completely. It still still leaves. Are you guys in frame? No, you're not. I'm so sorry. You see that? Get you in frame. So you see the difference between the Albert's Durer and they don't really dissolve as good. Okay. Well, let's see what other tests can we do. Let's get the Albrecht Dure and see how it looks. They look the same dry, so that's a plus. And it doesn't look like I'll really be using this as a swatch sheet. This is definitely going to be just a test sheet. Oh my goodness, they activate like crazy. <laughs> But of course, that's your budget-friendly pencil compared to your professional quality pencil. So it's kind of fail the first test of completely dissolving with water for the black. The black does not completely dissolve. So let's try the gold. And I'm not even going to put the number because we're not even going to go that route. Okay, colors pretty much just like, like I said, it, it, they color dry just like the Hero pencils, the oil-based pencils. Snap that lid. I'm so heavy handed, guys. Oh my goodness. Uh oh, looks like I need to sharpen. Oh, that's what I planned on doing. I planned on sharpening them first because, let me show you. Oh my goodness, we're having sharpening issues with this. Um, Hero pencils do have sharpening issues when you're dealing with uh, the Hero pencils, even with the oil ones. They were, they were horrible with sharpening a few of them. Let me empty this one. And I have a lid stuck in my Tagal. There we go. So I better put the Tagal sharpener on a shorter lid setting. Because this pencil is just actually just crumbling. Look how it's crumbling, guys. Oh my goodness. Like it's been dropped. Okay, it's a gall. We're gonna have to leave the Tagal alone and go with the let's see if this pencil sharpener does any better. It does a little better with it, but this pencil is actually just crumbled. It's it's look at it, the whole core is just actually just crumbled. Oh boy, that hurts. <laughs> All right, let's just activate it and see what happens. Okay, the goal does not activate at all. Nope, 
it's like it's just a regular pencil that they just plopped in here. No matter how much water you put on it, that gold does not go anywhere. Wow, and plus it, it's crumbling. Just, it's almost probably impossible to sharpen. I've already sharpened it down quite a bit. Okay, moving on to the silver. I'm not even putting names on it anymore. I'm just almost disgusted. <laughs> Oh boy, come on hero. It seems like, yeah, the metallic pencils are a no. Now the colors, the color range, they're beautiful. I don't know if they're different colors than the hero pencils, but this actually seems like a, a set that would do better as just a regular color pencil set. So this is the pale purple. I was so excited about these. Now I feel like a total letdown. And the price of them, um, it's not that inexpensive to me, I mean. Now, see, that one completely dissolves. Okay, so you're going to get, in this set, some that completely dissolve when activated and some that are going to be halfway completely dissolved. And then you're going to get some that the metallic pencils that don't even dissolve at all. So I guess you will find that out once you swatched every last pencil but it has some very very unique colors in this set these muted tones are very beautiful it has like pale blue pale green uh, pale violet pale purple pale red they're like colors that I haven't seen in a lot of sets, like a lot of budget friendly sets. So what I wanted to show you was the reason I definitely wanted to sharpen these pencils before we tested them out. Can you see this pencil? It has some type of white coating on the lead and I'm assuming that's like the protective coating that like the Derwent pencils have on them when they're shipped. This is ultramarine. You have to sharpen most pencils when you first get them because they have that protective coating on them and they will not dissolve. I mean, I'm sorry, not dissolve. They will not color at their best. You know what? I need to sharpen that black to see if that's what was wrong with it. Let's go back and try that again. Alright, so ultramarine. I'm going to put you back in there and I will get my black out. Back out. Sharpen it. And let's try it again. Did you hear I broke I broke that tip again? <laughs> I just that's why I don't sharpen my pencils to a really super sharp point. Okay, so that black well it did better than it did over here. So oh yeah, it did much better. Okay, so maybe it was the protective coating, but it still didn't dissolve all the way with the hard pressure. So let's try activating this ultramarine. Okay, let's.
let's try the heart pressure. Yeah, you pretty you have to pretty much kind of scrub pretty hard or pretty long. Well, no, not really. To get the lines out longer than you have to with an Albert Durr, of course. But that's not bad. I'm not I'm not as disappointed at, at them as I initially was. Initially, I was like, yeah, totally disappointed. Okay, let's try this black ochre. That's a very unique color. I love the color names on them, guys. <laughs> they, are, they are some beautiful names. The color names actually remind me a lot of the Prismacolor color names. Okay, so that's the black ochre, which kind of looks like kind of looks like a brick red kind of color. Okay, now why am I not sharpening these? Like I said, I should be doing. I should be sharpening each one before I use it to get that coating off. Okay, let's try a brown. Let's try this henna. What I'm going to do is I'm going to use it dry with the coating on. Now I'm going to sharpen it and see if it does any different. Well, it does seem a little less waxy when I take the coating off, I guess. I just don't know anymore. Okay, let's activate this. Activate. Let's see if it activates any differently with or without the coating. Yes, it does. Seems like if you don't sharpen it, it won't completely dissolve. The lines won't completely dissolve for you. Okay, let's try an orange. Right, we haven't. Oh, I'm so sorry, guys. I am not at my best today. Okay, that's dry. Let me sharpen it. It definitely feels different when you sharpen it for the first time. Hmm. I am breaking lids again. Okay, that completely activates. Lines do disappear. But that black is just... It's just a no-no. It did not dissolve all very nice. But I guess the black is just kind of a toss-up anyways. All right, let's try a bright red color. We have our Cinnabar Red. Oh, that's a pretty red. Cinnabar is crumbling. All right, Cinnabar, why are you crumbling on me? A lot of these cores seem to be very, very fragile. So in this set, it seems to be a lot of chance of breakage. 
I'm going to use my Faber Castell paintbrush to activate this. Oh, that was too much water. I need to stick with my water brush. Because this paintbrush is not it. And the lines aren't dissolving very well. I don't know if it's the brush or the pencil. Let's try the pencil again. Hard pressure, light pressure. Let's use my water brush. And by the way, this is a Jane Davenport water brush. Nope. Well, that one did. I just don't know, guys. Oh, my goodness. Okay, so maybe it's the brush. But here, where I did hard pressure, that line isn't going away. The circle, no, the circle isn't as much either. So, it's the pencil. The cinnabar red is kind of like the black. Not dissolving well. So we're going to try a couple more. I'm going to try some blue. I was going to swatch these out completely. Let me sharpen it with you guys, but now I just don't know what to do. I'll do that probably as a separate video. If you guys want to watch me swatch these out, I'll do that as a separate video. And here are my complete thoughts on each pencil. That's what I'll do. That way you guys can get, now that one dissolves pretty good. So that's, that's pretty much what you're getting. You're getting a lot of inconsistency from each pencil and how they activate. But the colors are pretty nice. They color very nicely dry. I like the way they feel dry. We'll do a little blending with them. Okay, there we go. Now let's stick with my water brush because that Faber Castell paint brush is just not the business. That one activates pretty good. Let's get these little crumbs out of here. Get out of there. That one activates pretty good. That was the Veronese Green. <laughs> That's interesting names. All right, so, so far, that's pretty much what we have in how they are activating, okay? All right, so our next test will be maybe a little bit of blending, seeing how they come together with a little blending. All right, so let's blend. Let me try to move, move some of these pencils out of the way. Let's take the yellow and orange. And I've already sharpened the orange so I'm going to do heavy pressure light pressure then I'm going to do heavy pressure here and light pressure there 
go over into that orange. Now let's go from light to dark. Hmm, that's pretty nice. I really like that. Well, let's try the orange, I mean the, this bad cinnabar red. Let's give it another chance and see if we can make an orange. Let's do our dark cinnabar red. Do a light layer here and do our yellow. Do a pretty dark layer there and lighter layer here. Well, not a lighter layer. I'm pretty heavy on the on the pressure. And let's see if that middle one makes a pretty orange and completely dissolves. Light my brush. That cinnabar red is just not activating like it should it's just not that one's that one's a dud that one's a dud in the set it's not activating and I'm sure there are more but once I swatch the whole set out I will see how many are not activatable <laughs> well it activates it just doesn't dissolve completely it behaves like a very bad budget watercolor pencil but the others behave like a not so bad watercolor pencil so hmm. that would make a beautiful little sunset right there okay so our next test let's get a lighter blue which is light sky blue and I'm going to do a heavy layer and a light layer and I should have sharpened this let's try one more here of a medium pressure layer and let's try to erase oh it erases very well oh yeah that's pretty good erasing. Oh, look at me. I've smeared. <laughs> Don't ever do that, guys. Don't wipe stuff with your hand because you're going to smear it everywhere. Well, that one erases very well. All right. Let's see. What else should we do with these pencils? I think, I think that's it. I think that's it um let's do one more thing let's make like a gradient kind of thing here so it didn't dissolve very well whatever color that was the citrus and uh, whatever that was it didn't dissolve very well so I have the 12 set of the Albert Dura watercolor pencil so let's take the dark cadmium orange and the cadmium yellow and let's just see the difference in dissolving with the Albert Dura and that's a light kind of light pressure of course <laughs> I don't expect oh, I started with a dark I don't expect this these pencils to live up to an, an Albert Dura watercolor pencil of course not but I just wanted to show you guys the difference between the two, what you get. I'm going to give these two one more chance. This is, let me use the same pressure or a similar pressure. And the, let's try yellow gold. Well, those two pencils work much better. 
<laughs> than the two that I used. They work a little bit. Are you even in frame, guys? I'm sorry. They work similar to the Albert's Jura. They don't, you know, dissolve as good. I still see, you know, little brush, I mean, pencil marks, but it's better than what happened up here. So guys, what do you think? Do you think these pencils are worth, they were, I think, $37, $36.99. And then the one shoey, same kind of pencils were like $38, $39, so almost $40 for these 150 pencils. Let me zoom you out. Do you think they're worth that? That's why I was kind of hesitant in getting them. If I didn't have the, what is it, the other set, the 150, 160 set of the Guang Hui. Now, I actually heard someone say that they were able to activate these oil pencils. Hmm. Wait a minute, guys. Well, that doesn't look... <laughs> that was an oil pencil that I just um, put on that paper. Someone said that they were able to use their regular oil pencils as watercolor. Let's see if some 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 other ones will Oh my goodness. They're just selling Wow. Discovery Wait a minute. Let me try it down here to see if it'll do Guys, oh my goodness. Now these are supposed to be regular oil pencils and they are, <laughs> oh my goodness, they're, I'm hurt. They're activating just like these watercolor pencils that I just spent like too much money on because I got my hero pencils um, when they were 20 bucks back two years ago. Oh my goodness. Uh oh, I didn't clean it off good enough. I turned it green. They are, they are doing the same exact thing. Oh my goodness. Someone said that their hero pencils were activating with water. And I was like, hmm, I wonder should I try mine? And I think I tried the black. I think I tried the black. And I was like, no, that's not doing that. That's not working like, that's not activating. But, oh my goodness, it... It looks like they just took their regular oil-based pencil and just put them marketed, them, marketed them as watercolor. These are so going back. Oh my goodness, guys. Can you believe that? Let me try a red. I said I was going to try these in a coloring book, but I don't need to because I know how my regular Hero pencils behave. And that's the exact same color. Hold on. That is the exact... Guys. <laughs> that is the exact same color, number 139. Oh, my goodness. Number 139... 
What color did I even use? What color is number 139? It is, I think, red, red ochre. All right, let's let's see. That's it over here. It's pretty much doing the same thing. It's not activating as well, but I mean, hey, it's not. Yeah, that one's not activating as well, but okay, that one that one next activates a little bit better. But they're they're too similar. I don't know, guys. They're just too similar in formulation to just be blown away for. I'm not impressed. I'm sorry. If I didn't have the Hero Pencils, I would probably be more impressed and more happy with them. But I, I have the Hero Pencils. This is just like having the Hero Pencils with names on it. That's the only difference. These are my Hero Pencils with names. So I'm paying an extra $17.00. Oh, that's the exact same color. Okay, number one. I'm paying an extra $17 for some names, which is not bad. And, and I have 10 extra pencils with my original set. So let's see if this one is activating. This one, oh my goodness, this is the regular Hero Pencil and it's activating better than whatever this was. I think this was the one that I didn't like. That was a sandbar, cinnabar, that didn't activate right. And it's activating pretty much better. It's acting, activating better. Oh my goodness, guys. I am... <sighs> I'm disgusted. <laughs> okay, so that's it. That's my review. They are exactly the same as the regular Hero Guanghui oil pencils. So that shows me that those oil pencils, they're not really oil because an oil pencil cannot activate. It has to be water-based in order to activate with water. So, hey, well, what do you think? I think... I think it's a thumbs down. I'm not impressed because I already have this set just without the names. That's what they've done. They've just taken the regular pencils, Guanghui, that they had before, and they just slapped watercolor on them and slapped some names on them. So this is a bust. So guys, I don't think I'm going to show how they color in coloring books because I've already done that. Now, don't get me wrong. These, I love my hero guanghui pencils i love them they are one of the best budget friendly pencils they color very very nicely but i'm not impressed that you you're telling me that this is a watercolor pencil when it's the same as your other pencil and it just has names on it that's the only difference so guys, if you enjoyed this video, I still will link these in the description below. But if you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you have these pencils and you've gotten different results than what I've got, please comment below and let me know. Uh, they are nice pencils dry, but some of them are not activating and they're not dissolving completely. And they're vibrant colors, they're beautiful colors, but they're the same as the other ones, the, the regular Hero pencils, the 160 set and the 168 set. So if you found this to be true with yours also, just let me know. And 
Thanks so much for tuning in. If you haven't subscribed already, please consider subscribing. Can you tell the disappointment in my voice, guys? <laughs> I had such high hopes for these pencils, and it just poof, flew out the window. But, yes, if you have not already subscribed and you want to see more videos like these please consider subscribing and make sure you hit the little notification bell so you can see when I make a video. Now, just to let you know, I will be reviewing next. I also got the 72 set of these watercolor pencils, but they look, the body of them are completely different. So that is the next video that you guys will be seeing. I will be testing those out and maybe comparing them. So stay tuned for the next episode, guys, and happy coloring. Bye.